What's happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics. And today we got a reaction to X Deo and their album, The Immortal Wars, brought to us by our friend, longtime supporter, and patron of the channel, River. Thank you, River. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. We could not do it without you. If you want to support us in any way, check out the Patreon link below or the patron link on the end screen. Well, I don't know anything about X Deo. Well, I do now because I researched it and also. River brought two of their songs on a recent live stream I did. I do those every Wednesday at 5 o'clock Central Time on YouTube. Shameless plug there. River says X Deo is a Canadian death metal band formed as a side project of Cataclysm. Frontman Maurizio Icano, who is of Italian heritage. Their music's written based on the history of the Roman Empire. The album The Immortal Wars being a hard-hitting concept record about the Second Punic War from Hannibal's Rise, the Crossing of the Alps, and the Rise of the Scipio Africanus. I found this is their third studio album released on Napalm Records in February of 2017. So a little bit of info, just a little bit back, because we're going to get into some history here, boys and girls. With the strength of 37 mighty African elephants, Hannibal, who was 26 at the time, marched 40,000 of his bravest men 1,500 miles through the Alps to challenge Rome's supremacy on their own soil. But despite winning many victories, he ultimately failed to march on Rome itself, and after being forced back to Carthage, was soundly beaten at the Battle of Zama. The album is split into two distinctive sections, right, with an intermission. Part one tells the story of Hannibal, while part two tells the story of Rome. So that's pretty cool. We already talked about Mauricio being the lead vocals. Stephen Barb on lead guitar, Jean-Francois Dagonis on rhythm guitar, and Oli Bedouin on drums, bassist Dano Apikian. My best there. All right. If you haven't joined us before, the music will not be in the video, but it'll be at a Vimeo link below. I really encourage you on something like this, really on everything, but on something like this, go click on that and follow along with this. Let's kick it off. We can kick this thing off appropriate enough with the rise of Hannibal. I'll tell you what it's about when it's over, right? Let's let's read the lyrics. If you can, while you're watching this with me, you might not be able to. You might be listening along on your, on your iPhone or have it on in the background. I get all that, but for stuff like this, the lyrics are really important, but I'm going to have them up. So we'll interpret this thing and break it down when it's over. Thanks again to River. Let's get it. All right, what a great way to start this album. I'll kind of break it up into two different things here. I mean, I made some notes as it's going. You kind of have to with stuff with this. But lyrically, it's it's exactly what it sounds like. The rest of it. Here sounds of a distant time, echoing voices of ancient tyrants. Hamilcar, son of Carthage, Carthage bestow the seed of the lion's brood. And Hamilcar commanded land forces during the first Punic War, and he was Hannibal's dad, right? So that's that's where we get this at. From this day on, one will rise, many will fall to seek the throne, the throne of sand. The perilous nation tremble at the hands of your enemy. I've sealed your fate in dreams far away. And then we get Hannibal in this song saying, Father, on this day, I promise to never be a friend of Rome, to treat them as a mortal enemy. This promise I make with my blood, I am the son of Carthage, and let the blood of Rome flow in the oceans of war. And then he just gets on. Like there's no place to die. There's no end in sight. There's only pain, only death. Only one shall reign. Fear me for I am Hannibal. That's how it ends. So that's going to obviously take us into the next song. Puts the story out wonderfully. And I thought, you know, on the instrumentation side, it was just fantastic. And you had a good, a good intro in there. And then it kind of kicks up. We had those melodic, though, those melodic death melodies in there. Along with Mauricio's like gruff, vocal performance but the melody in there was was fantastic man you could pick up all the lines and then ollie on the drumming uh is fantastic and i saw he's also a drummer for cataclysm but uh fantastic now we have the portion of our festivities boys and girls where i probably butcher some names there's going to be some coming up hispania the siege of sagintum all right let's see where the story takes us really well done song again the last 30 seconds that the elephants are here right you hear them you hear the elephants you hear the whips so this battle, I'm not going to get into the whole battle. Well, I mean, I am, but I'm not going to go in great detail. So this place is in Spain. And so as Hannibal's marching towards Rome, he takes the city over, one of the most fortified cities around. The city called out to Rome, sent Rome, and asked Rome to help them, and they never did. So Hannibal was going to have mercy on the people and said, you can leave and just take two garments of clothing with you and you can leave. And that's it. But then he found out they were trying to sabotage the wealth of the city and do different things. So they killed every single one of them, guys. It's war and it's brutal, man. It's brutal, but really well done. And we have that incredibly difficult task of crossing the Alps. After Hannibal captured and sacked the Roman city Sagintum in Spain, he marched over the Alps to Rome to bypass much of their defenses. Crossing the Alps was thought to be impossible by many, and many people died throughout the journey. 
He not only crossed the Alps with soldiers, but infamously, of course, with war elephants as well. Now, after this song is that little intermission in here, which is one minute, 47 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and let Crossing the Alps play, and I'm going to go ahead and let the intermission play, and then I'll come back. All right, let's go back to Crossing the Alps. A very, very good drumming from, from Ali here. The the drum fills, just everything is fantastic. I thought Mauricio's vocals, like he kind of brought, I mean, it's all intense, right? But he kind of shifted up the intensity as the song went in. You just kind of feel that intensity and a great guitar solo in there as well by, by Stefan Barbie. So that was really good. The the lyrics, of course, they're important. Like I always said, but I want to shout out. It's, it's both important, right? The atmosphere and the arrangement. But he's... He's going, right? Hannibal's going. I can smell the bodies burning the earth. Hispania's fallen. Rome at my grasp. My patience is vast. Resolve absolute. One will save the world from demise. One will walk this earth triumphant. One will roam with the beasts of the world. One will decimate all. And he's talking about how we'll break through their gates. All these people coming. But he says, give me your strength, pillar of gods. My hands are frozen, but my soul's on fire. The cold is my shelter. My faith is alive, but my body is dying. With me again from the sounds of wisdom to the sounds of destruction to the sounds of the angels that will make me reborn. I will rise from the depths of glory to lead this army into the bowels of Rome to the bowels of Rome. I'm here at your footsteps with the sirens sing the sounds of conquest. And then the intermission, I don't have anything to say about the intermission, right? It's just, it's an intermission, man. This whole album obviously is going to be cinematic. So it gives us that little break as we move on to the second half of the album, which if you remember at the beginning, I told you tells the story of Rome. We have Cato Major... Carthago de Londe Est. You know I'm going to butcher names, and, and here we go on the Roman side of it. Let's go. All right, well, the, sh the story shifts. The Romans are upset, and they're coming for you, Hannibal. It starts out, I call Cato to the Senate for. There's only one way. Carthago de Londe Est. It's a Latin phrase that translates to Carthage must be destroyed. And Cato the Elder was a Roman consul and senator during the days of the Middle Republican he starts talking about who he is. And he says, Hannibal, great general of the Carthaginian hordes, barbarian, this is your final stand. How dare you invade our lands and break the treaty a thousand miles away, a forgotten reign. We shall defend the honor of Rome with every breath we take. To the end of times, our glory will feed the brave. And he just keeps talking about that, how they're going to take him at the very last of it. As worlds collide, burning lies, traitors shall be crucified, enemies push back forever. So you feel it. You feel it in the fantastic instrumentation there. Mauricio's just... The, the, it's got to have that anger and that edge to that vocal, especially on this one, right? Because now we're angry. They're coming for us and we're fighting back. And it's the first we hear from the Romans. Nice guitar in there too, as well. Guitar solo in there. Next up, we have Ad Victorium, the Battle of Zama or Zama. It took place in 2002 near Zama and marked the end of the Second Punic War against Hannibal. Hannibal. After much fighting, Scipio's cavalry was able to attack Hannibal's soldiers from the rear and ended, get this, the 17th, 16 and a half, 17 year long war. This battle was one of Rome's most important victories and ultimately led to them gaining much more land and power than they had before. The Romans had about 30,000 soldiers and they said Hannibal had about 50,000 and about 80 war elephants by this point. But this actually pushed Hannibal into um, hiding, right? So it's, uh, it's very, very important. Ad Victorium. That song had to bring it and I thought, I thought it did. I thought... The drumming and the guitar work were fantastic. It had to bring intensity, right? Because this, this ended, for all intents and purposes, Hannibal, right? And it starts out push, pull, divide, and conquer. Everyone is everything. Zama Regia, Summer of Legions, Summer of Blood, wage war back to Carthage. This time we will end it all. Hannibal, face your nemesis. I am the general you cannot kill. I'm your blood turned to death. I am Roman and Victiga. On this day, what 40,000 souls crush the hands of Carthage. Bring me the head of the lion for victory. I lay my sword for you. It just kind of goes on and just repeats that, right? And at the very end, I after they have a nice um, solo in there, I hear the screams of the earth shake before me. I see moans of men dying with spears entrenched in their bowels, severed heads and bodies wrapped in fire, wrapped in fire. I mean, war is graphic, boys and girls. There is no peace for war. There's no place for the living. Plunge the gladius of Rome into the heart of Africa. So Rome is riding high. And when you're riding high, you get to enjoy the spoils of war. All right, the spoils of war. The vocals were dialed back a little bit at first. I mean, you're not going to get a lot of dialing back on vocals, but 
Let's dial back a little bit at the start because we're talking about in the shade lays the spoils of war and the land lays the keys to victory. Door to door, man to man, kill them all. Crucify, magnify the power to dominate. The seeds of the poison, rewrite the pages of history. I've walked from the vineyards of heaven to the battlefield of hell. Hannibal Barca, Rome demands your ultimate surrender. Lay down your arms or face complete annihilation. Legends will fall today. Thunder will reign in the skies. The gods rejoice and triumph. The spoils of war and then just goes on to uh, really put it down at the very end long live the republic then a little uh, latin in there italian probably latin prepare for war since you have been able to endure a peace that's that's a pretty good quote right there that's a pretty good statement all right well we got to finish it off with the roman all right the roman a great way to end this album i thought the arrangement the instrumentation on here was fantastic dial back in some points almost a violin melody throughout there but just kind of talking about what it means to be a Roman, right? I serve the truth. I serve the light. I am Roman. I've seen the cold worlds disappear into the world upon the burning crosses. The crescent moon bleeds the blood of the tyrants. I bring order for the world to prosper with courage at hand. I will never yield. I am Roman. And we actually get some Italian in here. The rest we've had in here has been Latin. But always oh, a whisper of domination. Let the beasts of the world fall. Let the civil world rise. Philosophers of the world write down the antics of the ancient world. Bring forth evolution. I am Roman, the Roman. So that's how it ends. So like, triumphant, right? Triumphant. We got to go from the spoils of war to being triumphant. And that is going to transition me into my favorite tracks, which is always weird on something like this, right? It's a historical album. It's as much of like a film score, right? Or as a cinematic experience as it is an album. You know, they call themselves extreme metal or extreme symphonic metal. And I think the extreme symphonic metal really, really plays to this. I think that sounds about right to me. I guess the favorites, Cato Major, uh, the Roman, and then my favorite, the only song that I think is like, that you would pull out of context, right, and just play the song, is the first song, The Rise of Hannibal. That song's fantastic. But they're all good, right? They all fit the story. Now we're getting to my overall score. You know, this isn't going to be for everybody. The the arrangement, the dissertation, the drumming by Ali, the uh, Stefan's lead guitar, I mean, and obviously Mauricio's lead vocals are, are pivotal because He's not just screaming them all the time or gruff. Like he changes up how they are. They're always intense, but he changes up how they are based on the story. But I don't even notice the vocals after the first like two minutes, right? You're just, you're engaged in the story. You're entrenched in what's going on. They do a fantastic job with that. So for me, like I said, this album's not going to be for everybody. I'm going to be an 8.5 on this. I think it's fantastic for what it is. I mean, what it's trying to do here, it accomplishes perfectly. And it gives us a little bit of a history lesson. So let me know what you think of this album down below. What else should I check out from X Day Out or... Cataclysm, right? Thank you to River for bringing this one. Give River some love down below. And until next time, guys, I will see you.